active and passive RFID difference. How to choose the right RFID technology for your application? RFID tags are embedded in the most of our daily applications, such as employee badges, inventory control, asset tracking, retail security tag, etc. Determining which radio frequency tracking technology best suits your needs can be difficult. In this video, we want to help you to clarify difference between active and passive RFID. Once you understand how these two systems work, it should be easy to determine the appropriate RFID technology for your workplace. That is, power, frequency, cost, application. The most essential difference for the passive and active RFID is battery. Passive RFID tag has only chip and antenna design. It needs the radio frequency signal energy sent from the RFID reader to activate the tag to work. Due to the no battery design, passive RFID tag size can be very small to very large, upon different application requirement. While active RFID tag has a built-in battery, the energy for the tag is provided by a battery. Tag can broadcast its signal always without any reader around. The battery, chip, and antenna together constitute an active tag, which deters active tag size not able to be very small. The second difference comes to the radio frequency performance. Active RFID usually work in 2.4 GHz or 433 MHz ISM band, while passive RFID when many refer to at 60 to 925 MHz. Active RFID is suitable for long distance, non-directional identification, reading radius up to 200 meters. Active tag can be still read well when attached to human body or hide inside the backpack. But passive RFID is more suitable for directional and non-barrier reading. Typical reading distance of passive RFID can be 10 cm to 15 m. The third difference would be cost. Since an active RFID tag takes advantage of its own power supply, they are higher priced. Typical active tag cost would be five to thirty dollars. Passive RFID tags are more affordable without a battery. The most common cost of passive tag is less than one dollar. The cost will vary greatly depending on the other device that need to be tagged. Now we come to the last, but you may be most interested one. The application's difference of passive and active RFID. With its strong performance, active RFID are usually applied in fields like oil, gas, mining, construction, hospital for employee badge, asset tracking, etc. Some countries like China also use active RFID for ETC system. When for passive RFID, Due to flexible size and the low cost of uh, passive tags, they are used a lot for file tracking, retaining system, library, warehouse, payment terminal, etc. The right tool is out there. The RFID system can operate under various conditions. You should now be able to better decide whether active or passive RFID technology is suitable for your needs. In the world, to choose the type of RFID that is right for you, mainly depends on your solution needs and the investment budget. Thanks for watching. To learn more about all things of RFID, please visit our website or contact us.